Knox is at the Southern Women's Show in Raleigh, North Carolina for the next stop on the Balance Your Life Road Tour. She's going to introduce you to some big fish in the video game world. Plus, we're going to hear from a cancer survivor striving to make a difference. Great story there. And we're going to share some more memories of a princess. The Balancing Act starts right now. for joining us today. I'm Chris Villa. You know, we're going to send it straight out to my co-host, Daniel Knox, who is somewhere, somewhere out there at the Southern Women's Show in Raleigh, North Carolina. Danielle, where are you? Christy, Christy, I'm right here, girlfriend. Listen, I know we all look alike, but we're all sisters here anyway, right? We are having such a wonderful time here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Ladies, you're having a good time here. <laughs> I am so happy to hear that. You know, my sister lives here in Raleigh, and when I came in, she told me, you're gonna have some great weather. But if you're wondering what the weather's like in your neck of the woods, let's check in with meteorologist Mark Mancuso, who's got a live check of the tips from coast to coast, including how your area is shaping up this morning. Hey there, Mark. Welcome back, everybody, to the North Carolina State Fairgrounds, where these ladies are ready to shout till they drop. Right, ladies? And I have to tell you, the Balancing Act has traveled all over the Southeast as part of the Balance Your Life Road Tour in conjunction with the Southern Women Show, and every stop has something different to offer, and Raleigh is no exception. So let's go ahead and take a look at some must-sees. Hi, I'm Katie Cronin. I'm one of the show producers here at the Southern Women's Show in Raleigh. Ladies, welcome to the Southern Women's Show in Raleigh. The show is now open. Yeah. Raleigh's a great show. You know, it's been going on now for 27 years. So. We see exhibitors that come back year after year, and it's like a second family. It really is. Um, we've got lots of, of course, food, fashion, and fun. We have groups of women that come together, you know, with friends or coworkers or family, and they just want to spend the whole day. And there's so much to see and do. You can really come from 10 to 7 p.m. and have fun. <laughs> I told you the show was a lot of fun, right? And we are just getting started with all the fun here today. And one of the things that's important for me is to be stress-free. We have so much stress in our lives from our family, our work, our kids, and everything in between. And what better way to kind of de-stress is by playing games, right? Who's with me on that? I love that idea. So I'm so happy to have with us here on the show this morning, Jessica Sachs. She is Director of Developer Relations for Big Fish Games. Hey, Jessica, good to see you. Hey, thank you for having me back. You know, let me start off with this, and I know that you all can see this too. I was looking over there at your booth. <laughs> let me tell you something, girlfriend, that booth is packed. It's happening place. Women are, it is a happening place. Women are lined up. Why do you think games are so appealing? I'd be happy to tell you why. In so many ways, games appeal to us in our need to relax, and unwind in the same way that books do. Big Fish Games is the world's largest publisher, developer, and distributor of premium casual games. And a casual game is a game that is developed to inherently provide a casual, more importantly, relaxing gameplay experience. Casual games are easy to learn, so they have mass appeal, but they're actually hard to master, which keeps them engaging and something that our customers can always go to as a key element of their day to relax and just completely unwind and let go and escape. You know what I love about that, and I think a lot of our audience would agree, so many of these games have a lot of violent content yes. in them, and yes. you've got guns, you've got all these things that we don't want our kids playing with. But with these particular games, they're great for mom and for dad and for grandma and grandpa. I mean, it really does seem like family entertainment. Uh, you're absolutely right, Danielle. In fact, casual games in many ways are the equivalent of the modern-day board game. So our customers are actually primarily women. 
And many of our female customers prefer to play games in a family setting with their husbands and their kids and their grandkids around them. And as you just pointed out, many game developers in the world actually develop games that are shooters or racing games or games that are actually geared towards men and boys, which are known as core games. Big Fish provides an alternative to those kind of core games by bringing to market games that are high quality, easy to play, and quite frankly, something that can be played by everyone. Well, I love that, I love that. And I'm gonna be honest with you here and make a confession, my game plan stopped at Pac-Man. So, <laughs> I'm glad you're here to show us how this works. Can you walk us through this? I would <laughs> absolutely love to. So I'm going to demo for you guys a game that is a game that we recently released on the App Store. So you can find this on for your iPhone or your iPad. It's called Fairway Solitaire. Now, how many of you are Solitaire fans? I Raise love Solitaire, hand. actually. I do. Yep, one I of do. my favorites. This game in particular is one of the best in the business. So Fairway Solitaire is a solitaire game that has an overarching golf theme. How many of you are golf players? How many of you have husbands who are golf players? There we go. That's the key, because some of you, your husbands, might try to steal this game from you, so watch out. You're so doing able... good there. Thank you. I, I, lots of practice. Lots of this. I play this game every night before I go to bed. You know, in a lot of core games that are out there that, you know, a lot of men and boys play, quite frankly, the villain that you're up against is truly wicked and has done something heinous. Our villain is essentially a Braveheart-themed gopher. Oh, but he's cute. He is cute, but he, and he's cute and adorable, but he's still the villain. And this is what I mean, family-friendly content sure. that someone like anyone, any one of our ladies or myself here in the audience today would like to play to relax. Men like to play this game. Kids can obviously play this game. It's very family-friendly and fun. Also, we do currently provide games for iPhone, iPad, and Android. And all you have to do is search for Big Fish games when you go to those locations. And let me add here very quickly, they have a try before you buy philosophy. So Absolutely. you all can go try out the games as well. Absolutely. Wonderful having you here, Jessica. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you, everyone. And for more information about Big Fish games, simply go to their website. And it is just that, bigfishgames.com. I'm Brenda. Hi, I'm Ginger. Hi, I'm Rebecca, and we're here in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're having a great time here at the Southern Women's Show. Don't go anywhere. The Ballast and Act. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the Southern Women's Show from the beautiful North Carolina Fairgrounds. We're having a great time here today. And, you know, speaking of beautiful, over the past road tours, we've had this really great exhibit that we've been so honored to see, and it's Princess Diana's exhibit, Memories of a Princess, some of her most beautiful gowns that she's worn and some of the most wonderful occasions that she's had. Ladies and gentlemen, Memories of a Princess. Meet Maureen Dunkel, the lady in the picture with my sister and me. Maureen is the owner of the exhibit simply titled Diana, the People's Princess. It's easy to see that today, nearly 15 years after her death, she is still the People's Princess. Just eight weeks before her death, Maureen bought more than a dozen of the 79 special dresses being auctioned to raise money for AIDS, cancer, and children's charities. The final tally, almost $4 million raised. Some of the dresses include this beautiful long dinner dress and tailcoat of burgundy velvet. This dress was worn by Princess Diana at the film premiere of Steel Magnolias, as well as her state visit to Korea in 1992. Later on in the show, we'll bring you some more details about the dresses, but for now, let's all sit back and reflect on the memories of a princess. Ah, Princess Diana, what a great inspiration, right? All right, so you may be wondering, why in the world is this child running here on the floor of the Southern Women's Show? Yeah, I got my running shoes on and everything. But the reason I'm jogging is because of another woman who is truly an inspiration. She is a 10-year cancer survivor. Yes, 10 years she survived cancer. And she's running to help raise awareness for her organization, the Gateway for Cancer Research. Good morning, Danielle. With me this morning is Rhonda Kokut. She is a cancer survivor and a board member of the Gateway for Cancer Research. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me this oh, morning. Thank you. You've got quite a story to tell, and you are such an inspiration to so many people out there that also are fighting this disease this morning. First, tell me about when you were diagnosed. I was diagnosed 10 years ago on December 28th of 2001. I was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of blood cancer called AML. I received multiple rounds of chemotherapy, total body irradiation, and ultimately underwent a stem cell transplant to cure my disease. 
That transplant was on July 26th of 2002, and 10 years later, I am cancer-free. Oh, and congratulations to you. you. And you know, we've been talking a lot with Lynette yes. and a lot of people from the Gateway for Cancer Research, and all the times that we talk, we hear that word, the word of hope, to never lose hope. And do you find that really to be so important emotionally inside? I decided from the very beginning that the only way I would survive this disease was to never lose hope. And there were some dark days where I wasn't sure what was going to happen to me, but I always believed that I would get better, and I did. So I fought hard, and I'm happy to say I came out the other side. God bless you. Now, how did you get involved with the Gateway for Cancer Research? When I was sick, I took part of a clinical part in a clinical trial, and that clinical trial really tested the kind of transplant I received. It saved my life. So I became very passionate about supporting cancer research and making sure that I could do my part to help those who are going to come after me. So I joined up on the board of the Gateway about a year and a half ago and have been able to make a contribution um, of using my own story and my own interests in a way that would benefit others who need that kind of treatment. And the organization is just an amazing organization because, I mean, they not only promote research and, and they have clinical trials, but, but, but they take a different approach, too. That's right. We only fund certain human phase one and phase two clinical trials that are really improving or extending a patient's life or finding a cure today. We demand cures today for cancer. So I'm very proud to be behind that mission, and 99 cents of every dollar we raise goes directly to fund cancer research. And I'm glad you brought that out because I want our viewers to know that they too can help out in so many ways. Let them know how. Well, this year I'm running 10 races to mark my 10th anniversary, and I am raising $10,000 for the Gateway for Cancer Research. So if anyone wants to participate and support me, they can go to demandcures.org and make a contribution to my race. Good luck to you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. You are an inspiration. Thank you. And of course, if you want more information on this wonderful race that she's going to take part in or more information on the organization just go to demandcures.org it's worth looking into hi i'm theo from garner north carolina hi i'm kay from ocean Isle beach north carolina and the balancing act will be right back everyone, Chris TV back here at the Balancing Act Studios. You know, as many of you know, I've been to several stops of the Balance Your Life Road Tour so far, and I've been really impressed with the show. I absolutely love it, but one of my favorite exhibits, the collection of dresses that once belonged to Princess Diana. Danielle Knox takes us back to the exhibit as we all continue to celebrate the memories of a princess. As we continue the tour, one thing is obvious. Diana's fashion sense of simple elegance truly was and still is timeless. For instance, this black halter dress was worn to many charity functions, including one of the more famous in Versailles. Ms. Dunkel saw this dress in Vanity Fair and it became her inspiration to take part in the charity auction, a decision she is proud of to this day. And what about this beautiful evening gown embroidered with pink and white flowers? This is Maureen's personal favorite. And finally, we couldn't leave without looking at the gown simply known as the John Travolta dress. Diana wore this dress to a White House function in 1985, and although dancing with many of the other invited guests, she took to the ballroom floor with John Travolta, and when asked about it, Travolta simply said, it was like a fairy tale. Which is what many people must think, including myself, as we fondly look back on the memories of a princess. I tell you what, she really was amazing, wasn't she? Well, you know what, throughout this tour, we've come across so many people who are really anxious to help in the fight against cancer. And today here in Raleigh, we've come across a really terrific group of exhibitors who have banded together to fund a day of cancer research to demand cures today. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, I'm Annette Adair from Bama Boy Beef Jerky in New Hill, North Carolina. And we demand a cure today in memory of one of our dear friends, Kyle Martin. We lost him this past December of stomach cancer and he leaves behind three young boys and a wife and many friends and family who loved him very much. Hi, I'm Peggy from Raleigh, North Carolina. And I'm Judy from Raleigh, North Carolina. And we're spending our day shopping at the Southern Women's Show. But don't go away, the balancing act will be right back. 
Balancing your act is a full-time job. It helps to have a support group. Join our social community by visiting facebook.com slash the balancing act fans. Get in on the conversation. Today's AccuWeather segment is brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. So we've been looking for some ladies who have shopped till they dropped. And look at what my friend here did. She took the baby out of the car seat put all the clothes and all the bags inside the baby stroller. She said, I got a whole lot of shopping to do. What's your name? Sarah. All right, Sarah, tell me what you got here. Well, we got a purse with a little kitty for my daughter. How cute. Um, we got a nice scarf right here. Oh, I love that. Oh, let's wrap that around you now. OK, well, keep going. Thank you. Look at these bags these ladies have already. Take a look at this. You know what I think? Jamelli, I think we're going to have to sit down for this one. Let's have a seat. Come on. Oh, down on the floor. <laughs> All right, ladies, what do we have here? Oh, a miracle out. whisk. I like it. A you do a lot of baking and cooking? I try. All right. <laughs> um, we got some new pajama pants and a shirt for Love Bug here. Oh, that's so cute. That's I so like nice it. Pants. Okay, makeup. 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 I love the makeup. Oh, got a little bag. Another oh, little yeah. bag. Oh, with some lip glosses. I love that. Oh, look, even more makeup. I love that. What else? Makeup, makeup, even makeup. more makeup. I love that. <laughs> Graters for garlic. Yeah. Oh, oh, a garlic grater. Who would have thunk it? Here, look at this. These are new purses, right? Yes. Yeah. You just bought these, and she's already filled them up with stuff. <laughs> even more makeup. I love that. OK. So dare I ask if you're done yet? Um, No, probably not. <laughs> I didn't think so. Those are my kind of ladies. They love to shop, and I love to shop. You know, before we go, you may remember when we were in Nashville, Danielle surprised me with a birthday cake. <laughs> well, you know what they say about paybacks, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you one more time our co-host, Danielle Knox. on this one, girlfriend. Feliz cumpleaños, girlfriend. I love you. Happy birthday. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I've had such a great time here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Everybody has been so wonderful to me on my birthday, and it's just been great traveling with the Southern Women's Show. But now it's time for our sister show, Designing Spaces, here on Lifetime. We'll see you next time, everybody. Take care. <laughs>